Right guys, I was asked uh, by Tim Sullivan to um, actually produce a negative mould from an STL file. So um, I was helping him do it. Um, it's really easy and I just want to show you how to do it on this model here. Now I am not taking into account any undercuts, any pulls, any of this sort of things. I'm That's up to you guys. I'm just showing you the method, methodology, methodology behind it. So we do have things like nose cavities and things like that and if you were doing these you would probably want to fill them as well as the ear you probably want to join it more to the back so you haven't got any undercuts but that's not what we're talking about today. So we're just showing you how to create the negative mould from it. Now this is a Dynamesh uh, model um, just of one of the basic things that came with ZBrush and um, I just Dynamesh it so it's all watertight. So I'm just going to show you the process. Okay. You've got a wall type model or an STL file. So we're going to have a cut through for the neck. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to be using this as the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask, I'm going to turn X on first of all, and I'm going to mask on the symmetry all the way around the main parts of the body apart from the end of the neck. So let's just drag across there, save a bit of time. And come around here. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of the neck Free, and this will push through from the extraction. Okay, so here we go. Right, right. Let me just get this straight and then do a control alt. That'll give me something a bit cleaner. All right, so we got this. So the idea behind this is we extract. So an extraction will push out as well as pushing in. So you can decide what thickness you want your extraction. If you guys have done my course on, um, you know, the ring and scaling and all these sort of things, then you'll know how to do that anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to go down to extract. And at the moment, what we'll do is leave it on 0.02 and hit the extract button. It's going to give me something like that. It's not thick enough. I'm going to put this to... Um, maybe 0.1 that's give me a much thicker extraction whoa that might be too thick let me just check again yeah that's too thick okay 0.05 that's probably about right it doesn't really matter you measure it so that's pushing out and it's pushing in okay so i'm going to accept it click accept all right so now we have this so if I go into solo, this is what we've got. So it's got all this stuff on the inside, but it's all pushed in as well as out, okay, from the model. So it's cutting into the model as well as out. If you look here, you can actually see that it's cut in it. It's kind of cut through the middle. Can you see that line there? So what we need to do is we need to extract that out, or we can use live booleans to do this really easy. So what I tend to do, because this model's all got kind of blurred a little bit here, is and remember I'm on the extraction at the moment is I will kind of go in and dynamesh it and make sure it's a high enough level to accept the inner cast so once it's dynameshed you can go in and just smooth up this you know or add a bit more material because it's in dynamesh so I can come in here it really doesn't matter I can click clay tubes around here I should put auto masking on as well that's something to bear in mind masking down to auto masking just make back sure back faces is turned on then you can fill it out like this to build a bit more up redynamesh it smooth it off uh, you know you want to fill all this up this stuff up because it it's um because your supports are going to be built off of this so it really doesn't matter what the outside looks like go over the eyes if you want you know into the nose area just like that really doesn't matter redynamesh it keep it all nice and clean that's all nice yeah then that will be supported once I do my cut throughs so this is what we have so we just have a core okay all the core on the inside all that stuff right okay but what we need to do now is we need to do a cut through of this so we need to decide where we're going to have our line cutting through. So let us go and just, you know, you can choose any line and make this work for you. But I'm just going to append in something like a cube 3D here. Okay. And I'll put it 
I'll say it's going to cut through the model maybe like that yeah that's where I want it to cut through the model okay now this is where the magic begins what we're going to do is we're going to put the live boolean turned on go into draw mode then we're going to put this in subtractive mode so this is what we've got okay now with the original female head let's just go to solo unmask it original female head bring it down so the extractions at the top come back out of solo and now we're going to take this away and this is what we get an exact cut through of that model all right so what you can do now is you can put your pins in position on this so if we had our little pins we could go into here let's go to cylinder 3d let's just crease this click crease and I'll soft divide control D control D control D okay gonna scale this down remember this could be thicker if you wanted it to be and in fact you could even go into this female this extraction and you could actually widen it using the move brush but let me just put these pins in position Zoom out. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. There we go. Push that through. the control key Oop, let me just delete lower yeah I'm only going to do a few it's just to show you that you can just very carefully put these in position let me use a soft tool master I should better mirror these on the X there they are good so you can put as many of those pins in as you want right but these are in positive so I'm actually going to bring them up oh, sorry put it at the bottom and now I've got this what I can do is I can go and make a boolean mesh so the boolean mesh is being created that's done so now I want to invert it so my boolean mesh is there let's just append it in let's turn everything off this is what we have our negative mask with our hole cut through if we want it cut through okay so how do we get the other side really easy turn all these back on like this and what we're going to do is we're going to instead of saying subtractive we're going to say inside and we're also going to put the pins into negative like that so now we've done that we can make another boolean mesh voila and pen that one in bang there it is now you can turn these two all of this off and what we have now is a perfect mold let's come out of boolean now we now have this perfect mold which places here and here with the inside all cut out and it's that simple so that's how we can make a negative mold 
using that same technique that i showed to tim.